good morning and welcome to vlogmas day 14 well as you can see i am at work and i'm all snuggled up in my cow it's quite cold in here i'll tell you i'm sat in front of a window which is drafty this side of me there is a door and it's drafty and i've got my little fan eater on just down here so that is probably what you can hear so i apologize for that but i can't turn it off because i'm cold <laughs> anyhow I've had a nice frothy coffee this morning, double chop mocha, so I've enjoyed that and I um, got my uh, Christmas yarn out that I showed you the other week, the Helly Penny Makes Merry Christmas. So I've, <laughs> I have just uh, balled that up, uh, it's my pet hate is doing these things but I thought get it done then I can uh, get it in a project bag and uh, I've got some things lined up ready for next year then and that is my gorgeous little stitch marker tatting how beautiful is that and that was from Nikki at Loop um, what was it Hand Loopy Lane Handmade I think that is it. that's it when I did a swap with her last, last year I think it was I think that's beautiful it's not something I can sit and do <laughs> but it is gorgeous so that will go on the project while I'm knitting um, not really sure what I'm doing today I'll have to find something to do I think while I'm here so far it's uh, been a quiet morning so I don't expect it to get too busy today so I think I might do a bit of to plan in maybe cut some fabric and uh, ready for some sewing tonight actually because i'm i'm hoping to get some hoping to get some like uh gift bags made up and like a, a sack type of thing i'm going to get adele's gifts all sorted out and wrapped up i think if i've got time tonight i'll do that but i definitely want to get the sewing done tonight and then uh, do some wrapping while she's uh, busy <laughs> and not snooping because <laughs> she likes she likes the uh, presents at Christmas she does she likes opening presents so yeah so hopefully I'll catch you all a little bit later on hope you all have a good day well it's lunchtime now and I've just popped out to go to the post office and I thought I'd pop into the charity shop on the way back there's people going in there because you always find something. Anyhow, I managed to pick up something for Adele for Christmas. Um, obviously, it's penguin related, and that's all I'm going to say because if she's watching this, <laughs> then she, I don't want her to know what it actually is. So I pat that away. But let's say it, it's not small, it's probably about 30 centimeters tall, <laughs> and it's not a stuffed toy. <laughs> Anyhow, what I did manage to pick up was a little Father Christmas. It's a little hanging toy and that was just a pound. So I thought that would look nice on the tree or it would look nice sat on the tea tray. So I'm trying to think of these things as I, and buy as I see them. And also if I do put it on the tree, this year I want decorations on there that are not expensive not breakable because the tree's not up yet we're hoping to get it up this week i'm dreading it really <laughs> so none of my handmade decorations are going on no glass baubles are going on it's going to be cheap baubles plastic ones so they can't break them <laughs> so obviously we will share all that with you when the time comes and i also picked up this little I don't know, it's a, like a pot type of thing, a little Fanta. Sorry, my chair's creaking here, it's terrible. And that is big enough to sit on the tear tray. So that'll be something slightly different for next year. So, yes. So now I'm going to have my lunch. I've got um, an apple, apple and walnut coleslaw salad. So I'm going to go and enjoy that. So I'll catch you all a bit later on.
and I'm back home now from work. I've had a, a cup of tea, put my feet up for half an hour or so and then I've been doing one or two little jobs around the house and I thought I'd come out here and finish off the tags that I started making for Adele's Christmas present. <laughs> I really only need one I think this year because as I said before I'm going to make a big Santa sack. So I've sort of done a bit like a free motion edge around it but the embroidery works really well on the wool felt. I'm really pleased with that. And yeah, I'll be doing some more. I mean, I've got some spare tags at work, which I've had for years, which I tend to put on the front of my ribbon basket so people can see what colours are in my baskets. But yeah, that's the back. And really, I could just leave it as it is or stick a bit of Christmas paper over the back of it or just some ordinary paper to be honest. If I want them for general use then it'll have to be ordinary paper but I might make some fabric ones for sort of general use I think because I quite like them. It's just this is what I had at the shop and I thought I'll try it. But no I'm pleased with them they've turned out okay. So yes that's what I've been doing today. Um. I'm going to do my advent tea now so we are on obviously day 14 and today's tea is mistletoe and wine and it's a, a fruit tea so you have to brew it for four minutes and you don't put milk in these and it's mulled wine toddy perfectly spiced festive fruit infusion so that sounds nice and we've got the sort of the hibiscus, cinnamon, apple pieces, cloves, lime leaves, red peppercorns, rose hip, and then sprinkles. That's sugar, potato starch, vegetable fat, orange peel, natural flavourings, things like that. Now, these actually smell. Oh, yeah. That's quite nice. Yes, I can get a whiff of cloves, but it it's nice. I think com combined with everything else, it's it's very nice. Well, my tea's been sort of sat here for probably over four minutes now, so <laughs> we'll have a taste and see what we think. So it's a nice deep red one today. Look at that colour. I suppose that's just like a, a mulled wine. Mulled wine's not really something I drink. It's because of all the cinnamon and, <laughs> and cloves in it. Mm, I'm not sure about this one, to be honest. I am getting more of a stronger smell of cloves now. definitely a taste of uh, it's the orange I can taste yes it's not too bad that's not too bad I, I could get used to this I think yeah well yeah like I said the, I think probably the more I drink it <laughs> the more I get used to it but no it tastes okay that one um right so what I've got to do now I've given myself up until five o'clock to do some sewing to see how much I can get done because then I want to go in and sort of think about what we're having for tea and I want to, I've got one cupboard that I need to clear out so I can actually put a few Christmas things in, food things. So I'm hoping I can get all sort of what I need to do um, before five o'clock. So I've got several gift bags to make for Adele and uh, I'm gonna have to call it a Santa sack because they are it is a big like a Santa sack but it's going to be in penguin fabric so that's what I'm going to do now so I will see you all in a little bit in a little while. Well it's now time for me to stop sewing. How much did I get done? <laughs> Not as much as I thought. I managed to get one thing done which was the biggest thing I got Adele's Santa sack done. Mind you, I did get interrupted with Adele. She'd come in for my glue gun and I, I nearly forgot and then I had to say, no, don't turn around. <laughs> you can't see anything. Um, anyhow, I finished the sack. 
I didn't put a drawstring cord in at the top because I thought it would be better just to keep it like this and I've got a bit of ribbon on it and I've stitched it on at the back so it's something I can change in, over time and I've put her tag on the side. Now the sack is, let's have a look, there we go, it's, it's a metre piece of fabric but it is it's only half a metre wide obviously um, but that will be big enough for Adele's bits and pieces over the coming Christmases. I've just snagged my nail and it's cut right across into my skin. So that's going to be a bit painful. So at least I have got that done. I will try and share it with you probably a bit nearer Christmas when I've actually got her presents wrapped and everything in, is in the sack. So I can, well, it'll display better, won't it? So... But well, that might not be till like Christmas Eve or Christmas Day you get to see it. So that's one thing off the list. So it's now time for me to go and get some tea put on. Um, we I think we're having pizza and chips tonight because Kevin's bringing some pizzas. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to pop some chips in the oven in a little while. So I've got a little bit of time now to go and clear out that last cupboard. Yes, and then I'll be back out here doing toilet rolls. <laughs> that's going to be that's going to be my evening toilet rolls, and then that will probably be it. Then I think for today, and then I can hopefully go and do a little bit of knitting tonight. So I will catch you on a little bit later on. Well, I've just managed to do two more bags. So I've got that one, which is a proper drawstring. And this one where it's just attached at the back. And I think I've got two more to do, two more smaller ones to do. So I don't think I've done too bad up to now because I've got the sack done, two bags, two tags. I've cleared my kitchen cupboard out. I wiped it all down. God, there was so much out of date stuff in there. It was ridiculous. There was <laughs> two bags of flour. And then lots of like pulses and rice and risotto rice and oh preserving sugar oh, I thought oh, all that in the bin so yeah the cupboards are clean now so I can actually hopefully go back in and fill my cupboard up and see how the tea's doing and hopefully then yes I will be back out here in a while probably about an hour or so and I'm going to do my toilet roll so I'll catch you all a bit later.
Well, did you enjoy that uh, little bit of machine embroidery on the toilet rolls? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I never thought I'd be um, embroidered on toilet rolls, but they have actually been around for quite a while. I think when you get new people that come into embroidery, sort of these little crazies start up again, uh, which is good. It's good. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I've had fun. So I think I'm going to do one or two more now for little presents, which I can do them at any time, probably over the weekend or next week. Um, these will go into my bathroom, or should I say my toilet, <laughs> since I have a separate toilet. So yes, I think I've been pretty busy today. Three toilet rolls, one Santa sack and a couple of drawstring bags. That's not bad going and going out to work as well. <laughs> oh dear me, yes, I'm getting a bit tired now. I need to have the rest of my tea and yeah, I need to go and put the food in the back in my cupboard again, all my Christmassy food. So that'll give me something to do for this evening. So I'm hoping I get enough time tonight to actually sit down and do a bit of knitting because I haven't done anything for a couple of nights. So I really need to do that. And I could do with a cup of tea now. I'm getting a bit so, um, parched. I'm getting a bit dry. So I hope everybody's had a, a lovely day today. I hope you've managed to get some crafting done. Even if you've been to work, I'm sure be able to have a crafty evening and uh, yeah, I will see you all tomorrow for what we're on tomorrow, day 15. So have a good evening everybody and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.